Okay, looks like y'all can see my camera. Yeah, that's good. I see about two people watching. Hey, guys. So this is going to be the big box of craft jewelry that I purchased from Moonstone Mama's craft auction. And I have already opened it up because there was a little bit of crunching on the box. And I wanted to make sure that, you know, everything was intact and, and all that. So there were different containers down inside the box. Hi, Perla. Hi, Cindy. Thanks for joining me. And uh, looks like one of them I've done tipped it over. I'm going to take it out first. It was this uh, case right here that um, that had a lot of uh, beads and jewelry making supplies in it. I tried to set my camera up. I got a new desk. So now I have an area over here to the left and have my tripod set up to where I can do like unboxing things and have you know, have it to where y'all can see what I'm doing. So I hope y'all like that, that setup. And if you do, or if you think it's kind of weird or whatever, just let me know. But I, it's going to be easier for me to get a lot more videos done, like with my crafting and jewelry making and stuff with a similar setup like this. But now that I have a craft room separate from my office, I should be able to, um, you know, bring my tripod upstairs to my craft room when I'm making things. And, you know, I've tried it once before, but this, this is what I'm hoping for to do unboxings down here like this, be able to show it so you can see clearly and then be able to set it up in my craft area too, and do some videos, maybe even pre-recorded videos of me making things. So I've got about four people watching. I appreciate the thumbs up. Thanks. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Because I promise now that I'm getting more organized, there's going to be more to come. But um, I don't know if we're going to get a whole lot of people. I know there's some other people live right now. Moonstone's Mamas being one of them. So um, we'll just go ahead. And then I guess a lot of people can just come, come and watch it after the fact. Do you all see everything in the container pretty clearly? And I do want to give a shout out to Jude for this lot. She had won a $2 off um, coupon. And actually she gifted that to me to go towards, I guess, towards my shipping. Okay. So as we're going through this, most of this is going to be um, just a bunch of jewelry bits and pieces. Stuff like that some chain and stuff that's a little bit tangled up. I do see some freshwater pearls right here. Yeah, I'm going to have to work on the position of the camera. There we go. And the lighting's kind of orange and everything. Haley, do you want to like dim the camera? I mean, dim the lights a little bit. Maybe it'll help take off some of that glare. I do have my assistant with me today. Let's see if dimming it a little bit is going to help. Yeah, stop right there. Yeah, stop right there. I think that takes off some of the edge of the bright light. So I do see some freshwater pearls there. There is a... I know if I go to pick this up, all of them are going to fall apart. But if you noticed, there are some mother of pearl beads in here and some faceted glass beads. So a lot of this stuff, I take it and I... I cut it up anyway, and I bag it up separately by what type of stone it is or what type of bead it is. This is some type of natural stone bead here. <clears throat> There's a lot of glass beads and things in here like these and some art glass beads all on here. So those will get all taken apart and bagged up separately. And what I'll do is I'll just look through here and see... Um, you know, what I think I can use or what I might need because I do have tons of beads. There's a cute little elephant here that I can use. And y'all know I'm making those sun catchers and dream, I mean, and dream catchers, sun catchers and uh, wind chimes and things like that. So things like these will be good for those. I'll keep those. There are some chunks of what looks like fluorite here that will be pretty to do maybe wire wrapping 
or something like that with those. But I know that in some of the other, um, and there's a cool pendant here that will be fun for some of those wind chimes and things. Uh, there are some, some tumbled citrine and they are drilled beads like this. There's quite a few of those in there. So those will be pretty for making some jewelry with. I will keep those. I don't think I have any citrine like that. This may have been a whole bracelet at one point that broke. So those are real pretty. I like those. Me and Cindy have our sale on Wednesday. So a lot of this that I don't need, y'all will have the opportunity to purchase that Wednesday. Because me and Haley's going to work on getting that stuff bagged up before she goes back home tomorrow. And yeah, there here's some other glass beads that are really pretty. Hi, Jay. Thank you for showing. Just a bunch of different glass beads and things. And this is just one of the containers that were in there. This is a natural stone piece. Here's a pretty natural stone pendant. So it's already got the little thing on there. That'll be easy to make a necklace with. This, when I saw saw that, that looks like a um, like a Brighton pendant. Of course, it's not attached to a necklace or anything. I don't see a B on it anywhere but i mean it's a nice quality well made thick kind of on the heavy side so it, it quite possibly could have been in the the brighton b hang tag could have been on the necklace part of it so that one will definitely get put onto a chain and probably sold on poshmark some of them are acrylic i think these might be somewhat acrylic beads in, in there i don't do much with with the plastic or acrylic beads but yeah, there's a bunch of bits and pieces in here. And there's some wooden, some wooden beads. I do have a wooden lot that's going to uh, probably be available Wednesday. Some of them I plan on keeping some of the wooden ones because I know it really gives that boho look. And I may have to check, like, see, some of these components are sterling on there. Like, those are possibly sterling ear wires, so I'll have to check all of that. They can end up either being reused or they'll go into um, into my scrap silver. But yeah, there's a lot of loose stuff down in there. Let's see, here's another one that already has the little bell and everything attached to it. There are some costume pieces that are cool that can be repurposed. These... They are signed, but I don't have my loop down here. I didn't even think to bring my loop down here. They're signed, and I can't read it without my loop. But it's a single earring, so it would just be for repurposing other or repurposing or either repairing other jewelry. It's like a 1928. It's a teacup with a little spoon. You can tell by the scroll work on the back. Other little crystal beads. There's some chips of stone. Things like that. I've even got cute little crafty figurines like the watermelon, the pineapple. Hi, Cheryl. After company came over, what's going on? Oh, this is a, um, a craft lot, a large craft lot that I purchased from, from Devin at Moonstone Mamas on her channel. She had a craft sale. And me and a couple of other ladies got into a bidding war over it. And we got it up to $450. But there's tons of uh, natural stones in here. Beads that are, you know, pre-drilled. Things from vintage pieces. Things from modern pieces. Just a lot of stuff that I can make things with, repurpose, or sell in my craft sale. So, And there's sterling silver items in here, too. There are some rings in there. Most of, I think all of them actually. Let's set that over to the side. Just set it over there on top of the printer for now. I think most of the rings and stuff were, um, you know, like missing a stone, 
things like that. This I wanted to show as well before I move on to the next box. Um, this is a Lucian Picard piece that I won in an auction online. And they actually, they sold it for a really, really good price. If you know anything about selling Lucian Picard, it can sell for over a hundred dollars. I've seen some listed in the 200 and something range. I thought this was really beautiful. It's like a goddess. And um, let's see if I can get it close to the camera. It has these inlaid, uh, it looks like um, sapphires, channel set all the way around, but you know, I'm sure they're just glass. And it is signed on the back. The only thing it was missing, there's the Lucian Picard, only thing it was missing was the chain. And I do have a vintage chain that would be in the similar style of what would have been attached to this. So I'm going to repair it. And this one, you know, if I do choose to sell it, but I think I'm going to keep this one for quite a while. Um, I could probably list it anywhere from $150, $200. So I really, I really lucked up finding that one. Are you out of your mind? I have bought cars for less. <laughs> I could have been out of my mind. Sometimes I get a little emotional and I'm just like, I'm going to win this. <laughs> and I think that's what happened to me. Let's go around. <laughs> so here is the next box. So she did send a really nice box and that was the lid that I just set over here and set to the side. So I can re reuse this nice box here. And then she shoved the uh, two big bag or two quart bags down inside of those inside of there to protect them and we'll go through one at a time on those so let's see what's in this first one might want to consider putting something down too like i said this is my new desk and i don't want to scratch it Yep, I do see tiger's eye. That's what Haley just said. I love I, tiger's eye. I love I love tiger's eye too. It's really pretty. So there's tons of chips in there. I don't know if those components are sterling or not, but those will be able to be reused. It is broken and some of them are loose down inside of there. So I'm going to start putting some of this back inside the bag as we go through it. I did want to go ahead and make this video because like I said, I need to I need to sort this before Wednesday. So this one um, has some crystal beads, you know, the little faceted crystal beads on there. Um, there's this one that has a lot of mother of pearl shell pieces, which I like to use those a lot on um, the sun catchers and things. I think this is meant to look like coral but I don't think it is. I think it's just some kind of dyed red stone right there. So I don't really think that's coral, but it is a stone. Hey, Kathleen. Hi, Cheryl. Um, I think I already said hi to Cheryl, didn't I? <laughs> big spender. Only big spender very rarely. <laughs> Usually, if y'all y'all know, y'all see me in the uh, auctions and stuff, I'm always trying to snag stuff on the cheap, cheap. I don't like to, I like my profit margin to be pretty high. This looks like there's some quills, maybe porcupine quills in each section on this bracelet there. I'll have to really take a better look at them, but they look like that's what they could be. And it's actually, I mean, it's, there's nothing wrong with this stretch bracelet at all. So that might be a piece that can go, if I don't want to keep it for those quills, um, I might want to just put it down in one of my jewelry jars that I sell. Mini bougie Haley. <laughs> Did you see Dwayne? Yeah, you're in there in the chat. She's in the chat. There's some puka shells. Hi, Jude. Thanks for joining us. So look, Cindy, it's turtles. And I guess, my best guess, just at the moment without testing them, that might be carved out of jade. And it looks like the bracelet still functions. Yeah. It's just one of those pull, and it probably needs to be knotted again at the end. But you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight little turtles carved. 
in there and see when you get something like this and if you don't think that you know it's cute the way it is you can always make what you can make one two three four pairs of earrings or something or a necklace out of it just redesign it into something else <clears throat> let's see we have some looks like coconut shell that might be dyed and some abalone shells that are dyed in there that one as that one's actually intact. There's nothing wrong with that necklace. So it could be sold as is or broke apart. This one was curious to me. It has some natural stones, maybe a venturine, maybe with some dyed quartz on there. Has some cool uh, findings on it. But this is a um, BSK pendant. So that's a vintage pendant that has probably some kind of jade or something. You'll find that on some vintage jewelry that's encased or prong set into to there. So that's a BSK pendant that obviously does not belong on this. Somebody recreated this piece, but you could take this off, clean it up. It needs a little touch up to the finish. And I do have those uh, gold um, gilding pins or whatever you call it, gold pins. Um, that we use to kind of touch up some of the fading on the metal. And then I could put it back onto a vintage gold chain. And that would be a wearable vintage piece. Hey, Jennifer. You have some lapis here, I believe. Yeah, that looks like lapis there. This is a vintage necklace. I've actually had one similar to it before. And those may be sterling. Let's see. I think. Yep. I'm not good with the zoom yet, but right up in there on these type of clasps, if you'll look right in that edge there, a lot of times it'll say 14K sterling. This one's marked sterling. So if that's sterling, then these quite possibly could be sterling as well because they are tarnished. So this one, I don't see anything wrong with it either. And I wouldn't take that one apart. I think I'd leave that just the way it is. Make you some earrings, boo. Okay, I'll make you some earrings. I still got to make you a, a one of the mirrors and send it to you for a birthday gift as well. So these, I've taken a lot of these apart because I think the shells are pretty, but... I have had a really nice mother of pearl one that I sold Obviously in my Etsy you shop. Had one like that. Yeah, I did. I sold it on Etsy, but it was just super gorgeous. And but these are fun. These are fun because they're flat. You can take them apart and you can easily glue them. Like if you're going to do one of those picture frames, or they sound pretty. Yeah, Haley likes to sound the shells too. I do too. And I like that color, but that one probably would get repurposed. This is one of those, oh, they're not seeds. They're tiny little seashells. So these are just tiny little seashells in brown and tan. That's what that is. <laughs> this looks like those could be coral beads there. Little glass heart. These could possibly be sterling findings, so all that would need to get tested. Now this looks like turquoise, but then again, when you see places where it's really white like that, it starts to make you think that they're um, possibly dyed or at least enhanced, or maybe it's just how light or magnesite that's been dyed. So I'd have to test, test those. Maybe I guess with the, I know a lot of people are doing the acetone. I'm just real um, iffy about ruining things. So I may just use them as if they are dyed how light and, and make something with them. But this necklace is intact and it's got the barrel clasp. So it could be sold as is. Got some chips of, um, carnelian there to use. This has a nice adventurine square piece there. And then you've got some hematite beads. You've got some glass foiled beads. You have a toggle closure on there. Any of the findings, especially if I'm going to chop it up, 
I'm going to test them and then I'll save them or I'll sell them in the craft sale for people that need them. I don't remember if this one was said that it was sterling, so I'd probably check it. Not quite certain that that's real turquoise in the middle, but it is a vintage clip on earring. So I'll have to check that one. This one was really lovely that somebody made out of some silver tone buttons and mother of pearl discs and it has a nice heart uh, toggle closure but they made this part with beads and used a little button but looking at the back side of these and the little bit of tarnish that might be on them I don't know they might be silver so I would test them too but that's a that's a pretty bracelet that works as is We have some dyed shell, soda light, some type of quartzite or quartz stone there that's part of that. Um, it's a, someone met, got real creative and made a tassel out of stone and shell and such. And then it's on like this multi chain here. It's actually intact, so could be worn as is. Have some more dyed shell here. That necklace is intact. That one's pretty. It is, but you do have quite heavy wear on some of those beads. So I would probably, yeah, deconstruct that one. Now I did get this beautiful, looks like Mexican silver, um, Malachite sterling silver earring in there. Shame that it's uh, just the single, but if I get better at soldering with things like this, I can turn them into a ring. So I would just clip off that post solder it onto a band that I make and boom that'd be a pretty ring this is a sterling vintage screw back earring with freshwater pearls that is so off the camera there I'm trying to see what I'm doing I think they're freshwater yeah they are scratchy to the teeth this was still brand new on the card you know, it's like a halide or magnesite. Uh, looks like a bracelet. Maybe it's made for a bracelet or a slider pendant to go through there. Original price, $7.99. Hi, Cricket. You've missed me. Need to do more videos. Well, I will. That's what I'm saying. I've been really reorganizing my life. That happens every so many months here lately that, uh, yeah, this is definitely not real turquoise. Very light, almost plasticky feeling. So I'm not even sure if that's real stone, but it is what it is. It's a crafty piece. I like that. Yeah, these are some beautiful uh, colored pearls. These are freshwater pearls that are, I'm assuming, dyed. Not sure, but that blue, so pretty. I would reuse those. I, like I wouldn't sell skin. it as is. I would reuse those. Here's a turtle. Now that's a piece of turquoise and an older piece. Again, I can do the same thing with this. Clip the post off and solder it to a silver band. And boom, I have a turtle ring. But that's already started to turn green. So you know that's an older, older piece. Here's a beautiful dragonfly with amethyst and some other stones in there maybe a, a aquamarine or something but it is missing one stone right there so i don't know i couldn't i couldn't prong well I, unless i find something real to go in there a real stone that's the right size which what's the odds not sure that might have to go into my scrap pile I may have to remove the stones that exist in it this has a piece of maybe quartz right here and right here it's a single earring so those I could pop out and use them as cabochons wire wrap them you know however you got some rose quartz there and some sterling findings on that one hi Lydia yeah, for, I got crazy with it, but there are a lot of gemstones in here. I won't need for gemstone beads for a while. <laughs> and there 
there's some more, all kinds on there. Quartz, Venturine, Smoky Quartz, Tiger's Eye, a lot on there. That one's kind of stretched out and wobbly. So that one's going to be chopped up and that one will probably go in the Wednesday sale because I have most of those already. This one, someone made out of wire. It's one of those, you know, you just kind of pop it on like that, I guess. And you've got some dyed uh, shell and seed beads. So that functions as it is, but I don't know. To me, I'd rather sell that to make stuff with, make something prettier out of it. There goes one of those mother of pearl beads. Set that over there. Here's a, um, wow. I'm not sure that that's malachite, but it's very green. I know it's not showing up as, well, yeah, maybe it is showing up as green. It's very pretty, mm -hmm. but it's a sterling silver um, earring. And these, you know, you can use these as pendants. They're cool. So I'd probably recreate that into a pendant. This is some more shell. And that's that first bag there. Put that back in the box. Here's the second bag from that box. We're going to dump it out too. I'll be busy and happy forever. <laughs> I definitely won't be spending that much for a while till I sell off some of this stuff or make something out of it and list it and sell it. You know, I've also been going to, um, to local events with my aunt we've been looking for different ones in different areas too and uh, so I'm taking the things that I make there and seeing how they do so this one actually has some actual stone pieces in it well, like heart broke yeah now she knew she knew that it was broken she showed that it was broken selenite heart it severed like that don't know what I can do with it unless I were to cage it to use for, for some craft or something to hold it together. Or she did say, you know, like you could break it up into little chips and pieces and do something with it. But yeah, that's cool. And then there was this one that she mentioned had some of the uh, polishing agent that got into the crevices. And she said with a toothbrush and things like that, you could get it out. That's just some quartz. I think it kind of looks cool anyway. kind of looks mm -hmm. like it has moss on it or something. That'll just go in my pretty rocks that sit around on my workbench. Let's see, did I miss anybody else that came in? Making up for lost time on what you spent. <laughs> Um, I think that's a Jasper cab there, so I'll take that cab out because that'll be good to either make something with or sell to someone to make something with. Um, scrap the silver band, I guess. Because I think, no, this one was a stainless. This was a stainless piece. So, yeah, I would just get rid of it. Mate, I don't know if I could get those uh, red stones out or not, but I definitely could take the cabochon out of it. There was this, and I have taken acetone to these. You can get the uh, paint or whatever, the coating that they paint it with off of it. And then you'll have pretty shell left over. And I have been able, with my Dremel, to carve these down to different sizes and, and do things with them. So I have a plan for that one. There's some puka shell earring that someone attached to a vintage clip back. Um, an agate vintage screw back earring there's quite a few of those how light um, skull beads which those are going to be fun and since halloween's coming up soon definitely me and Haley get in there and make some halloween jewelry mm -hmm. with those and i had some of those from before i had purchased somewhere these were interesting someone made like little i think they're like olive skewers those They're very cool. pointy at the end. Let me see. Here we go. And then they have wire wrap the stone on there. And there's different ones in this bundle. But yeah, I think they're like for 
cocktails, you know, to pierce your olives or your fruit or whatever with. Making up for lost time on what you spent so pretty. Um, yeah, there's a lot of loose um, stones in here. Let's see what we got. Oh my goodness, some of it's so tiny. Um, well, that's cute. That's like a, it says Nashville, 79, from 1979. It's like a banjo. Pewter. A.A. A. Pewter, so I'll have to look that up. That's a cool pendant. Um, don't know what that stone is. Got some pieces of quartz, some dyed quartz. This is red. I don't know if that's just tumbled or polished glass. I'm not sure. This one has a, oh, it's a tie, tie tack. And the way it's tarnished, that might actually be silver. And it looks like a V made out of a banded agate. This looks like raw amber right here. And it is, well, it's kind of, yeah. Hold on. I just broke it. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, I think this is amber and it's soft. You can feel how very light it is. And it does smell sweet when I just smelled where I cracked it. So I think this is raw amber. There's this little vial in here like this that has some little glass beads down inside of it. I might put something like little chips of stone rather than those two little beads. And then it has a place that you can Place that on a charm bracelet or a pendant. Let's see. And a little sil silver earring back. Some other little, like these, these two. Yeah, I think those are glass, like that red piece, but they're blue. Yeah, just little pieces of stone there. Clean that up because I just made a mess. This is difficult to do without making a mess here. There's some more of that, which I think is dyed, not real turquoise. Some sodalite beads here on this, this necklace. It has like a leather. It's wearable as is, but I think those beads can do better than this necklace. So we're going to upgrade them. Don't know what kind of stones those are. These are vintage. I found quite, quite a few of these in different colors too, like Whatever type of stone it is, they tend to dye them different colors, but they're vintage. These, I love these, which I don't think they're real turquoise either. And they have, what is that, quartz or moonstone? I think those are moonstone in between. But that needs to be restrung, and it would be really pretty. Don't they string pearls like that? Yeah, they knot the pearls in between. Mm -hmm. They sure do. I'm so goofy. I lost my Dremel. Don't know. Oh, no. <laughs> Mine has a charge base that sits on my bench, so I always kind of know where it's at. Here's another Venturine. These are a little bit bigger chunks. These are pretty abalone shells. It is a... That looks like it'd be soft to wear. It, it does feel nice when you touch it. It's a triple strand it connects like that but just it's, well it probably looks like it might have even should be no that's just the part that should be tucked down in there just needs a um fastener just a closure on that one hey lydia oh well that's the way i'm saying hey lydia but you've already been here lydia looks like candy you love finding those you can wrap them all together yeah so these are quite the strange but the point of these are that right there. That's a beautiful piece of stone that I can remove and use and wire wrap. So I like those. Here's another bag of loose stones. Let's see. Y'all know I'm tumbling my own stones now, too. I've got some blue tiger's eye in there that we've got to put in the tumbler. It takes like a month <laughs> to get them tumbled, so... I've done my first batch, and I need to start my second batch of stones. Yeah, I'm not sure that that's real turquoise either, but uh, it's cool. It was a tassel necklace, but it's very tarnished and 
losing its um, coating, so don't don't need the little chain part anymore. I want to take all this out to show y'all, but I want it to go everywhere. There it goes. It goes everywhere. That's pretty. That's a pretty red. That's curious. I don't know what that is, but I like it. <laughs> and I don't think it's glass. These are. These are fun little pieces of glass that maybe someone tumbled. Um, don't know exactly that one. That looks like petrified wood right there. Because I do have some petrified wood. Piece of that one. Yep, that's glass. It's just, it's so clear. And stones will have some kind of inclusion in them. This is super dark. Let me hold it up to the light. Ah, uh, this is a deep smoky quartz right here. That's what that one is. You can see it when you hold it up to the light. You see that chocolatey color. Ooh, I don't know what it's carved out of, but it's a carved elephant. He's fun. Carnelian, yeah, this one. I don't think that's carnelian. Usually you have a little bit more orange and it's a little bit more um, translucent than that. This one's not translucent. You hold it, well, just barely when you hold it up to the light. It doesn't have any light that goes through it. Uh, little crystal there. I think that's just quartz. Let's see. There's one of those lava stones. These are the ones that are good for your essential oils. So that's one of the things I'm making is bracelets and necklaces that you can put. Yeah, we have a lot of those upstairs. We have a lot in black and a lot in purple. Let's see. That, I'm not sure, could be coral. Um, I got some coral from Juve one time that was odd and different colored than I'd ever seen before. Sardonyx. I'd have to look up sardonyx, Lydia. You might know more about that than I do. That's not one I'm really familiar with. You're just guessing. <laughs> well, that's fine. Guess away. I'll take your hints and I'll run with them and I'll see what I can find. Not sure what that is either, unless that's a piece of labradorite that just doesn't have the the labradorescence to it. There was a um, there is a chunk in here of labradorite. That was one of the things in here that I was super excited about. This is a flat on the back, so this would be a good piece of um, sodalite to wire wrap. Let me see what else. Yeah, that's most of in there. What I guess more or less. See, this would be carnelian here. Has more of that orangey tinge to it. So we've got some amethyst chips. We have some blue. This is the blue lace agate. Eh. Nope, I think this is it. Uh, this is um, uh, oh my gosh, my mind went blank, but I know what it is. Aquamarine is aquamarine, but it's like you know, low quality. When you have a low quality aquamarine, you're going to get those whites and grays and stuff, but when you come to some of the clearer pieces, like that right there, you can really tell what it is. Oh, yeah, definitely. That's what it was that kept us going, was how many stones she was throwing in here. <laughs> I don't know that one. That one does. I know kind of maybe on the camera that it looks like sodalite, but in person, unless it's just the, again, a low quality one, I don't think that it is, but it may be. Y'all know I have the tester, so I'll put most of this on the tester to try to figure out. I think this is also adventurine. Large little tumbled stones. There's that other earring to that puka shell. We got the gold stone chips. We got a hematite. This used to be a superman 
hematite necklace right here, but it uh it broke off on this side. So the Superman pendant's not really gonna do any good anymore, but all the other beads will be cool. This one is intact. It's a hematite necklace. It's hooked on something. I don't think that one's broken, so that's hematite. You can make some nice kits out of those. I sure could make some kits. I sure could if anybody's interested. Let's see. I think this is a piece of labradorite that just is not cut in a way to really give off that that sheen, but I think that's what it is, and it's encased in some some brass, I believe. And it's on a nice or you know, a nice chain, a newer chain, but a nice chain. Yeah, we got a whole area for it now. We've got a sewing table up there. We have my workbench that's for my jewelry making. And then we have a whole like dining size table that we can, me and her both can sit at and make crafts. So you've got that magnesite or that could even be a marble there, those discs there. So I'll definitely take those off. Another piece of amethyst. I like that one because it's a lot darker. The better the the darker the amethyst, the better quality it is. I don't know that stone. Maybe a jasper. This might be that serpentine, I guess. Is that right? Maybe somebody that knows a little bit more, like Cindy might know. Is that the serpentine? Changing devices in rooms. <laughs> Um, these are pretty where somebody crafted um, out of copper because I work a lot with the copper too, but I do have some sterling stuff. And those, I believe, are real turquoise. So that's super nice. And because there's only one, I'll just take that earring hook off of there and make that a pendant because it's really pretty. Somebody took a lot of time it's nice to done. make those swirls. Yeah, it really is well made. Another, oh, these are stretchies. I was going to say another shell necklace, but these are two shell bracelets. You have, I'm not sure, y'all. Is this spiny oyster shell? Because I think that it is. That chunk right there. It looks like it is. And there's the inside of it, but the back side of it, is that what that is? And then there's some other pieces of shell on there. Um, Unconite, is that how you say it? Pendant, it's in, it's perfectly fine to make a piece of jewelry with. Or Unikite, Unconite, I don't know. I'm not the best at pronouncing it. You got different chips of different stones there on a clip back, which somebody reused that clip back. You can tell. Some more shell and beads on a single earring. Ooh, look. Look, Kathleen, there's a donut. We talk about those. It These aren't cheap, though, to find these donuts here. But now I've got another one to wire out and do something fun with. And I'm guessing, yeah, that looks like a jasper there. Unikite. Say it like that. Unikite. <gasps> look at that abalone. Oh, pretty. That one's going to be beautiful to make a necklace out of. Now we've got some plastic. I don't need the plastic. Um, this looks kind of almost primitive, like old. Like it's wrapped with a little leather binding. That looks like it was definitely hand hammered out of like steel or something. So that's curious. I don't know what that is. Then you have that. That's a pretty piece of stone. A little stone disc on a single earring. And I think that could be silver right there. Tumbled stone. Did anybody think that was spiny oyster shell? Yeah, I do too. I do too, Kathleen. And I think that's a garnet. Yeah, that's a little garnet bead. Let's get that dust off. And these were in the bag here, in this little bag. 
These are stone carved arrowheads right here. I'm not sure the stones that they're carved out of. I think she she made a guess, and I forgot what she said. I'd have to go back and look at the video. And this looks like this looks like an ametrine or either a fluoride crystal. I'm not sure. Ametrine's where you got the amethyst and the citrine, but it's either that or a fluoride. And then I'm not sure, but I wish I could get the light to show you that because there's like a lot of like webbing in this piece and it is pretty that's going to be a pretty pendant you can run the wires through it you could put a stone inside of the center of it um they they're good for um let me see where's the donut they're good for like when you want to run like the chain through the center of it and have like a dangle coming out of it kind of like a y necklace you can do that i've seen images of that and then there's this shell bracelet here too so what else pick one in there okay this is the last bag that was in there let me see if i can straighten up some of some of this that's precious it's very stiff though this part right here. This looks definitely like something you probably got as a tourist on an island somewhere. But it's very stiff. It wouldn't be. Will you pick that up? It wouldn't be comfortable to wear. That's for sure. Let me get that all back in this bag. How come we can get it in the bag, but when you take it out and try to put it back in the bag, it seems impossible. Yeah. I've seen people turn them into suns with the wire weaving and wrapping. A lot of cool ideas on Pinterest. I may be the biggest fan of Pinterest. I won't lie. <laughs> I have so many different, like, saved, and I use it also to advertise what I sell in my stores, but I have so many saved boards on Pinterest. Okay, so this is the last bag that was in there. This is the one that has, like, the rings and things. They're down in here in the bottom. if we can get this all over here like this. All right, pull it over here. We have, this is the ring that she showed and I was so excited. I think they call them in some countries, they call them princess rings or um, harem rings where they come to that point like that. But this one, I haven't tested it but, and these don't look like amethyst. They look like another stone that's purple like that. But you've got one missing and this one's cracked. And that is the only issue with this ring. And it's gorgeous. And the marking is on the outside of the band instead of on the inside of the band. But it is a sterling ring. It does not fit my finger, unfortunately. But if I could ever have the stones replaced... It'd be worth sizing for me because I really love it. I really, really love it. This one's another sterling one. I can't remember if this one was missing. Yeah, I think it's missing a few marcasites, and it's got a freshwater pearl there. It's an older one. Band's a little misshapen, but you can always hammer those back out on your mandrel. And it's sterling. It's marked on the inside, so that one was in there. Here is another one. Sterling, and this one has the mystic topaz in there, and they are just so beautiful. So, to me, these are worth taking out and making a pair of earrings out of them because it is missing the other one over there, and then just scrapping. So, those will end up going into scrap silver. Another sterling silver, this one has CZs, and it was missing the two in that channel right there. So that'll be a scrap piece also. Yeah, I love that ring. 
here's a another ring but this one is not real silver this is one of those they try to pretend and I think that is lapis lapis cabochon so I'll pop that lap lapis cabochon out of there this was a beautiful like carved horn or or yeah I think that's a horn um, carved bracelet and both pieces are in here but it, but it's broken I don't know where that there it is I don't know if I could glue that and get away with it or not but it's pretty and it had like the inset little metal pieces throughout it. I don't know if that was just to beautify it or if that was to give it some kind of structure, but it did get broken. I don't know if I could get, get away with gluing that back together, but it wouldn't fit me either way. I'm not good with bangles. My hand's too big. Now these, I believe to be real turquoise and beautiful, big pieces of turquoise artisan piece that someone made now it's fine to wear like that but i would i would do my own thing because i can take this one necklace and turn it into one two three four five different necklaces turquoise necklaces and to me that's more practical um we've got some briolettes which i was excited about i don't i don't have many briolette stones and i want to make some wire wrapped briolette earrings so there's different types of stone on there looks like mostly different types of agates and then some freshwater pearls and that turquoise one had freshwater pearls on it too then you have this piece it's intact it has a beautiful tiger inlay abalone on the front looks a lot like um that one designer that I can't think of right off the top of my head right now. Hate to find them broken. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, I can't remember his name right off the top of my head. It, but I know that maybe by this right here, that's not a that would not be him, but his pieces are always like that. And this is a what they call a doublet, I think, where they put the like a block of resin like as a layer underneath um, or maybe it's not resin yeah maybe it is it's called resin or something but they inlaid this into that so it's, it's kind of like how they do with a layer of stone and then they'll have a layer of this underneath it and those look to be real pearls yeah those are freshwater pearls and garnet chips and possibly onyx beads there so those are cool this is the large chunk of labradorite that was in there. And it does have a flash to it. Let me see if I can get y'all to see the. Oh, that's pretty. See the flash to it. Yeah, there it is. So that one's going to be cool to see if I can make something out of that. But for a while, I'll probably just stare at it because I wouldn't want to cut into it and do anything with it until, <laughs> until I got better at that. This is a beautiful uh, rhodochrosite. It has a lot of the, the black webbing in it. And it is drilled, so it'll be easy. It's like a long chiclet. <laughs> and this would have been really, really pretty. It's a dragonfly. And it has the abalone mother of pearl, but it was missing that one. It's a brooch. I don't think that I could recreate that necessarily because it has like this crackle effect to it. Lee Sands. There you go, Cindy. Cindy knew what I was talking about. This is the one that has those fossils in it. I forget the name of that one, too. You can see the little fossils inside of it. Like shell fossils or something. But that one's already on a bale and can be used right away. Here's another piece of shell, like what I was talking about earlier. You just take and the acetone will take all that off. Or you can, if you're like me and have a Dremel, you can buff some of it off. These are acrylic beads. And that looks like some lucite. Uh, lucite, yeah. Lucite, because it's got that sheen to it that shines. So, I really won't do anything with that. There's some moon glow beads there, though. The red moon glow beads are really pretty. 
There's a few of those on there. I like those, though. I get excited about Moon Glow. That's about the only plastic and Bakelite that I get excited for. There's a nice piece of amethyst crystal in there that someone wrapped. And there's another chunk of it there. It's all tangled up in here. There's some interesting beads on, on some of this. Oh, here's some more amethyst. Look at that. It's got a point on it. Some more amethyst. So those will come off of that because that's all jumbled up. I don't know what that was supposed to be. <laughs> but that's cool. And there's some shell in there. Yeah. That's that. There's some... Uh, a stretchy bracelet with some rose quartz. Now this is pretty too. This is a vintage gold. It said gold field. Vintage pendant. And there's like that agate there. Cabochon. That one is in good enough vintage condition to where I could, I could sell that piece. There's a stretch here that has some nice gla art glass beads on there. And I don't know about all these other things. They're plasticky. So, and then these are like some dyed quartz or something. So I'd take the stones and the glass beads off of there. This is just some purple stone that I think's dyed as well. On a stretch. And that's some nice uh, lapis. I think it's lapis. I think so. Lapis lazuli because it's got the flecking which we learned from Cindy earlier, comes from the Middle East. And then you have some malachite chips. Petoskey stone. Copper flash left to right. What is it, which one was the Petoskey stone? This looks like the... Um, ooh. Pink. Is it called pink quartz? No, no, no. It's called... Uh, uh, cherry, cherry quartz, right? Cherry quartz, and it has the whole, the fossils. Okay, that's the Petoskey. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This is, it's cold. It's, it feels like stone. Huh. It's got a blackish brownish tint to it. It does, but then for a second I thought I saw purple. I wonder if this is carved out of tortoise shell right here. Oh my. I don't know, but that's legal to sell. You can sell tortoise shell. Rhodochrosite there, and I don't know about the other two beads. I like that. <laughs> it's like some kind of quartz or moonstone, maybe, wow. that's faceted. You know, Moonstone will have a lot of that black and stuff in it when it's low quality. And you might not actually get that flash out of it, but that's pretty. Here's a pair of fishy earrings that are carved out of Mother of Pearl. Those look so 80s. Look at the writing and the tag. It looks like they, were, they come from the 80s or something. This is a pretty blue stone here. It's already on a Bale. I don't know if that's sterling. I have to check that one. Um, we have a tiger's eye heart pendant. Very pretty. Now these actually, there's a matching pair. So there's a pair of studs. I'll have to check those with the stone, with the gem stone tester to see what they are. They're very dark. Can hold on to the light. I don't get any light through them, so. I don't see that they're picking up any purple but or red, so if anything, maybe they're um, onyx or something. There is a piece of turquoise inlaid into a sterling little earring there. That could be turned into a pendant. That's a vintage earring. Very odd, very weird. I don't know this stone either. But it's got some opalite glass faceted, turned into a rhinestone there. And then it's got, I guess that's just some kind of quartz geode that's been dyed purple, maybe. 
very poorly faceted and I'm assuming that that's not going to turn out to be real silver very lightweight and stuff there's some garnet beads on that earring there's some fresh water pearls on there and to me that's pretty enough just to turn into a pen it's got some amethyst chips in it. it's like a little bundle of grapes right there this is cool see there's some more of the look at that you can see like clearly see through it like quartz but then it has some that those dark inclusions which I don't know what causes that but I want to look that up so you got two of those on there these are all either stone or glass and you have these two stone pieces there I'm so bad with getting this under the camera and then you have one of those where they take a leaf and dip it I'm guessing into just a silver tone metal or a pewter or something is what that's made out of and then these are a lot like the uh, Heshi style beads but they're like just little discs and I don't know if they're plastic or if they're made out of anything in particular but that's a pretty toggle it's got a little dangle even little grapes and leaves and stuff and I think that's oh no here's another one so now that one looks like it's missing one marker site but if I could find a stone to put back in that one it would work it's a sterling silver I'm popping those bubble the bubbles <laughs> with my elbow but yeah I think that is the rest of what was in that jar so yeah if y'all see anything in this that you're liking and that you want you're definitely going to see some of it Wednesday and you can always feel free to ask me about certain items that you need for your jewelry making needs I'm mainly going to have beads this time I do have some stationary items for Wednesday um hope your auction went well I had company oh, okay that was for cute fish earrings yeah those will be fun to I'd add a little bit more to them like some beads that dangle or something like that but yeah I do have over here um, some I have gobs okay I do have y'all are gonna see some large large bags of stuff that I've just been hoarding for so long and just too lazy to really get it all like broke down but those are gonna be your like gallon bags I have some gallon bags and we're probably just going to start them at like five dollars or whatever good night Dwayne but then we'll have gemstone beads we'll have glass faceted beads um, and like I said I, I think I've picked up some new stationary type items that um, that I'll have available but I, ha I haven't went to the craft store and really dug dug as much as I had been that's not all of the $450 lot. That is all of the $450 lot. Did something fall out? Some wood beads. Except for two wooden beads. <laughs> that's were in the bottom of the box. But yeah, that's all of it for $450. So yeah, um, we will see you Wednesday. And I hope y'all all have a great evening. Again, if y'all are looking for stuff for your own jewelry making, your crafting, or whatever, always feel free. You can email me at bougiebearvintage at outlook.com and hit that thumbs up, click that bell so you'll get notified when I go live again. Bye, guys.